nice tree. So uh, today um, it's going to be kind of short. We're going to Balin Saisayao, if I'm going to say that correctly. Balin Saisayao, yeah. Balin Saisayao. Uh, there are two lakes, Balin Saisayao and uh, Lake Danao, I think. We're not going to do this too long because it's forecast to rain a lot. Uh, so now while it's still sunny, we should try to enjoy it. Uh, also, one, more th one thing I want to say is that uh, you're not allowed to fly drone in this area due to an uh, incident uh, a few years ago or something. So we just decided to do the drone flights a little bit outside. So uh, the drone video will not show the lake. So, uh, so now we are heading. We are very close actually. This one has um, been uh, working really hard to get up here. So it should get some uh, break very soon. Let's go. One hundred for you and then seventy for me. Okay. One hundred for the foreign tourists. Hey, Pinoyako. <laughs> so they are quite strict with rules here, but you can just simplify it by bring nothing but footprints. Foot, leave nothing but footprints. Yeah. Take nothing but pictures, except for a local child without permission, uh, parents permission. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it was a sign outside there that said uh, no drone flying without uh, permit. So, of course, sadly, I cannot fly a drone, but that's okay. Uh, following rules. We need to respect the rules. Yeah, we need to respect the rules. I'm going to switch to the GoPro so I can use the... So I can use the 85mm on my Nikon instead, in case there's birds around here. Because there's quite a lot of rare bird species in this area. Did you can see so much dust? No. You look fine. You look normal, I, mate. I can feel the dust from my head. No, you look normal. Oh, I look like a normal human being? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought I looked like a normal human So, how do you think it's like here, mate? It looks quite... It uh, looks quite very... Uh, very natural. looks like a rainforest. No, Lots of vegetation. Look at all of that. And listen how quiet it is. Right? Also try to spot birds. Well, I'm a genius. I managed to fall. <laughs> Brilliant. It's very slippery here. You can see here. It's very slippery. So come to like me and fall, especially with an expensive camera and an expensive lens in your hand. I kind of damaged the uh, cosmetics of the lens. I'm so unlucky. And also, I hurt my foot again. The foot I hurt from yesterday from falling, I hurt it again. Not sure if you can hear that, it's like a... I think there's, it's a lizard because when I was standing right there I heard it right behind me. At first I thought it was a bird but... no, nah, it's probably a lizard or a frog. They're talking to each other. Also, you can cross the lake but I'm not quite sure if you need to do it on your own because there's nobody here to do it for you, so... yeah. Eventually got a boatman or boatwoman in this case. Um, so this one in here in particular is Lake Balin Sasayao. It's roughly the same size as a lake near where I live called Samsona. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> We're doing a take two because I forgot to record. Um, and then this one is going on the way to Lake Danao, which is uh, this two lakes here, of course. That's why it's called Twin Lake. 
it's also twin boat. Yeah, it's a twin twin boat. <laughs> Alternatively, there's a path you can go here as well. But um, yeah, I really like just being paddled here by the boat instead. It's really nice. What I can see, I'm not quite sure if it's, uh, the same applies here, but uh, you can see from the trees that there's something called, locally in Norway, we call it beard. It's kind of like a grass that grows on the trees, and it means that the air is very almost clean. Almost like a moss. Yeah, it's actually a moss. And that means that the air is very, very clean. So that kind of gives you an idea of how fresh it is here. It's actually one guy who recognized us from yesterday from the hot spring. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually very cool. <laughs> we made it safely to the other side. Otherwise you will not be able to see this video of course. <laughs> the vegetation here is very unique from what we're used to. There's a new kind of flora that we've never seen before. And I think it only grows here in the highlands. It's quite dense. Really looks like a rainforest. Although we have not been able to see a lot of birds, unfortunately. But it is home to many uh, species endemic to Philippines and even to the island of Negros alone. <sighs> so I hope I can see, but uh, I'm not having high hopes. Beautiful view. Mm -hmm. You're my most beautiful view. Yeah. <laughs> there are two paths up there when we came from the boat. The first one goes to that watchtower and the other one goes all the way down here to... Nothing. Nowhere. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we can turn around. We don't really see anything here. Also, while I'm going up, let's see if I will record myself falling that will be funny Lamao XT We are on our way back now but it has begun to rain so switching back to the GoPro I hope I can take some nice pictures of birds. Where are the birds usually? Flying. <laughs> Flying. <laughs> Lipad. <laughs> Hiding. Okay. Sleeping. Sleeping. Too long. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that marks the end of our adventure here around the Twin Lakes of Palinsa Sayao and Danao. Uh, I quite enjoyed it, although I'm a bit sad because we didn't get to see birds but that's kind of my fault for not doing research because they only show up late Now, I think that's all to show There's a... Uh, we'll see what happens later, maybe but uh, there's also waterfalls nearby here but the boat woman suggested us not to go because it's very slippery especially considering it has been raining recently so another time, for sure we will try. Definitely coming back here, because I want to see the birds. We are going back now. Let's see if we can find some food. And let's cross fingers that we have enough fuel, because you can see here, it's, it's, it's overestimating. That's just how it is, but uh, you can never know. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, fortunately it's just downhill from here, so. I'm stuck. Yes. Put it all the way up my face, you dummy. Can you show American lemon? Eto, kamote. Kuan kaning gabi. Gabi. Ah, gabi. Bison. Bison. Eto, papaya. Papaya. May hinugo ay papaya. That one here. Small, small enough. Takpila. Fifteen, kaman fifteen. Fifteen. So, what was it called? Pako. Pako? Yeah. Papaya. Ang na malaki. Actually, I want this, I just don't know how. Lemon. Lemon, whoa. 
so big, man. Yeah. Mm. I want, kind of want to try. How are you gonna try it? I eat it. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, taro, gabi? Gabi. And then, uh, small papaya. Mm. Yeah. Well, we have a, we will have a trouble to bring the big papaya. We cannot bring big things. But the small papaya we can bring, we can eat it at the place we're staying. Cinquenta. I have. Nah, cinquenta. Okay. Thank you.